Mother has arrived. I've been watching too much Drag Race. Hey, my Hildren. Hello. What's up? At the end of 2017, I promised to do a Q&A video, but due to some personal circumstances, I didn't. Well, actually, I did record it, but it was a very depressing one, and I was like, "You don't, you don't want to see that. That is, that was sad." It was a sad time, don't want to see that. So I decided to just record a new one. I cut out some of the questions that were related to like 2017 as a year. We're gonna forget about 2017. It is February 2018 now, Jesus Christ. Time is going too fast. Uh, so I just got rid of some questions, added some new ones, and we're just gonna do a Q&A because I think it's been a while. I don't know how long it's been. I feel like it might have been a while. I don't know, but we're just gonna do it. Number one, Angel asks my top five favorite Pokemon. Look, lady, this is a question you cannot possibly ask me because my my favorite Pokemon literally changes every week when I do research. Um, I think m one of the main ones I always say is Dragonite, Vaporeon. Um, those are all Gen 1. Let's do a different Gen. Um, I really like Tyranitar, uh, Darumaka. I love so many Pokemon. It's really difficult. Lilligant? No. Yes. Lily Wigglytuff, Slowpoke. Rowlet. I love all Pokemon except, you know, Weedle and Scolipede. Ben asks me, any advice on picking out some fabulous new frames for glasses? In case you didn't know, I sell glasses for a living and the main thing I focus on is uh, styling. Glasses styling. Now, I can't say I'm very good at it because it's really difficult. Uh, you also have to look at pre personal preference. But um, let's just talk about your face shape. If you have a face that is round, don't get round glasses because it will make your face look rounder. If you have a face that is like a little bit more, has more like straight lines, round glasses will suit you. And if you have an oval face, like me, doesn't really fucking matter what you put on. It's all good. Also, try to look at color. Best thing you can do at the beginning of choosing your glasses is put on some black, one, black ones and put on some brown ones. And if brown looks shit on you, go for the cooler colors like blue and gray. And if brown looks good on you, get some red or brown or anything. Um, and just go for something that makes you feel good. That's what I'm saying. Um, class dismissed. Boland asks me, are you excited for the new Zelda game that's in development? There's a new Zelda game in development? Nikos asks, what is your opinion on the new Pokemon game for the Switch? There's a new Pokemon game for the Switch? Oh wait, do you think we'll get it this year or next year? I think hopefully end of this year, but I don't. It's probably not going to happen, is it? I don't know. I'm excited for it. I hope they'll uh, go for something really new and cool. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I, f I finally have a Switch now, so you know, I'm ready. <laughs> Dr. Twister Calls, hi! Who are your favorite YouTubers? If you could collaborate with anyone, who would it be? Look, my favorite YouTubers are my friends. <laughs> Um, I I the I don't watch a lot of YouTubers. I have to be honest. Um, the mo the ones I mostly watch are the Beard Bros, Alex and Gerard. Um, I mean I've already collaborated with Alex. Um, I mean and my favorite YouTuber of all time is Jimmy 10 who is the YouTuber that got me into YouTube in general. Um, but he does such different content than me that I don't think we can ever collaborate. But he is great. Also, I've been watching a lot of Trixie Mattel and I would collaborate with her. Emil asks me, what do you look forward to the most in LA? Top three things. Look, in case you didn't know, I'm going to LA in April. Um, it's not for anything, not an event or anything. I just want to go see my friends, have a little break and have a good time. What I'm looking forward to the most is um, seeing my friends because I miss them a lot and I don't get to see them very often. I'm really excited about going to see Disneyland because I've always wanted to go. Also, Warner Brothers Studios, is that what it's called? Universal Studios? Because of the Harry Potter thing. And In-N-Out Burgers because Alex has been fucking talking about In-N-Out ever since we started talking two years ago. He does not fucking stop talking about In-N-Out. So this better be good. If it's not good, I will cry. 
Firebee44 asks me yes or no. I'm going to go with no. No. Jay, do you remember when you first heard about Pokemon? How did you learn about it and how did you first get into it? Um, I think it was at the school playground, most likely. People were trading cards and... Um, um, yeah, I think that's it. And of course, I watched it on TV a lot and I was, I was obsessed, my dudes, but you're not surprised about that. I had a best friend who had Pokemon Blue or Red on her Game Boy and I kind of played a little bit then, but I didn't play the games much then. And then when I turned 10, I got a Game Boy Color with Pokemon Silver on it and my life completely changed. I, yeah, it's been, it's, it's been crazy ever since. <laughs> uh, Penny, what influenced you to start a Pokemon YouTube channel? Um, honestly, I think I was influenced by the decks, my, my buds at the decks. It's just something that I enjoy talking about and I was having a hard time coming up with content. My channel wasn't supposed to be just a Pokemon channel, but it just became that. And I kind of want to separate from that soonish, but um, it's just what I like talking about the most. So I guess that's it. Uh, Brandon, do you visit the States often? No, I have not ever visited the States. The first time I'm going to visit is going to be this year in April. And I'm pooping myself because I have never traveled that far. I've never been outside of Europe. It's going to be scary. <laughs> also, America kind of is a place that I have always been curious about going to, but also some things about it I don't like that much. So it's gonna be weird, but exciting. Um, any plans for regular streams, one or two a month? That is a lot. Look, streaming for me is a very stressful thing. Um, it gives me a lot of anxiety and it makes me feel really insecure. So I need to like feel on top of my game if I want to stream. And I just don't often feel on top of my game. And then the fact that people really often ask me to stream makes it feel like pressure. And that's difficult for me. So um, if you stop asking, maybe I will. No, I don't know. I'm going to try. I mean, I, I did enjoy streaming, but it's just a stressful thing for me. Ragnar, do you go to school? If so, what are you studying? I do not go to school. I am not a school person. I don't like school. I cannot focus on anything ever on the planet ever. School is not for me. I like learning. I don't like going to school. <laughs> uh, sheep skin. Tear away. Would you get bit by a zombie or eat a zombie? I would not eat a zombie. That's disgusting. And I am a, I am weak. I am a weak person. So I would get bit and killed within like the first hour of the zombie apocalypse. Trust me. I have no skills. <laughs> uh, Tim, do you still play Pokemon Go? I don't like, um, Really? I guess, yeah, I guess I play it. I play it on the bus to work. I just like go pa past the stops and if I see a Pokemon that I don't have yet, I get it. But I don't go out to uh, do raids because the raid community um, in my town is wasn't very fun for me. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I just like stepped out of that one. <laughs> oh, well, that was it. Thank you so much for asking questions. If you have any other questions for me, you can put them in the comments and I'll just reply to the comment. Or should I reply in different... No, I don't know. I don't want to do too many Q&As. If you have any questions for me, uh, put them in the comments and I will reply. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Getting to know me a little bit better. You don't know anything about me. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. Thanks for watching, my dudes. And I wish you all a very good week. Goodbye. <laughs>